Welcome to an exciting journey exploring sound frequencies beyond human hearing. It may surprise you that elephants can communicate over kilometers using sounds inaudible to humans. They can detect sounds as low as 14 to 16 hertz. Or that doctors can see inside your body using sound waves way above your hearing range. Our audible range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Let me explain sounds beyond human hearing, infrasound and ultrasound. Infrasound refers to sound waves below 20 hertz, with long wavelengths and low attenuation, traveling vast distances. Too low for us to hear. A 10 hertz infrasound wave in air at 343 meters per second has an impressive wavelength of 34.3 meters. Conversely, ultrasound consists of sound waves above 20,000 hertz, featuring short wavelengths, high directionality, and rapid attenuation. Too high for us to hear. A 2 MHz ultrasound wave in tissue at 1,540 meters per second has a mere 0.77 mm wavelength. Both infrasound and ultrasound are longitudinal waves, requiring a medium like air, water, or solids to propagate. Infrasound travels farther with minimal energy loss, while ultrasound is quickly absorbed but can be precisely focused. Infrasound is generated by large-scale natural events like earthquakes and volcanoes, industrial machinery, and animals such as elephants and whales. Ultrasound is generated by animals like bats and dolphins, and technologically by piezoelectric transducers. Infrasound detection involves seismographs and microbarographs, while ultrasound is detected using piezoelectric transducers and Doppler devices. For example, if an ultrasound pulse returns in 0.02 seconds in water, traveling at 1,500 meters per second, the object is 15 meters away. Natural infrasound sources include seismic waves from earthquakes, crucial for early warnings and volcanic eruptions detectable over long distances. Elephants use infrasound to communicate over kilometers and whales utilize it for long distance calls. Bats use echolocation, emitting frequencies between 20 to 200 kilohertz to hunt insects with remarkable precision. Dolphins employ ultrasonic clicks exceeding 100 kilohertz for navigation and hunting underwater. Technological applications of infrasound include disaster monitoring for earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions, providing crucial early warnings. It's also vital for planetary defense, detecting meteors and explosions, and for wildlife monitoring. If a seismic infrasound wave travels at 3,500 meters per second and is detected after 70 seconds, the source is 245 kilometers away. Ultrasound has revolutionized medical imaging with sonography used for fetal monitoring, organ imaging, and echocardiography. Therapeutic uses include high-intensity focused ultrasound, or HIFU, for tumor ablation, and industrial applications range from non-destructive testing to cleaning. In medical imaging, at a fat muscle boundary, approximately 1.4% of ultrasound is reflected. Demonstrations like a dog whistle show how humans can't hear ultrasound, but dogs respond, while a clad knee plate visualizes sound wave patterns. Experiments like an echolocation simulation or a frequency test with apps can help you understand these concepts firsthand. High levels of infrasound can cause discomfort and headaches, so chronic exposure should be limited. Diagnostic levels of ultrasound are generally safe, though high-intensity ultrasound can potentially cause tissue heating. In summary, infrasound has long wavelengths, travels long distances, and is generated by earthquakes and elephants, with applications in disaster and wildlife monitoring. Ultrasound, with its short wavelengths and high precision, is generated by bats and dolphins, finding crucial applications in medical imaging and industry. Understanding these frequencies beyond our hearing is crucial for advancements in science, technology, and our comprehension of the natural world. We encourage you to explore further and visit InTech online for more articles, animations, and interactive resources on infrasound, ultrasound, and the fascinating science of sound. If you want to go deeper, check out InTech online. They've got awesome articles, 
guides, and real-world stories that make the science of sound come alive. Thanks for hanging out. Drop your weirdest sound in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more science that actually matters to you. Until next time, keep your ears open and your mind curious. Hit up in techonline.com and start your sound journey now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay updated to fuel your curiosity.